Hello everybody, back here again for another vlog a day, and today is Friday the 25th, also known as Black Friday. Today was an absolutely beautiful, gorgeous day. Um, got up stupidly early. Um, the pups that I'm watching, um, they apparently are morning dogs. I'm not really sure why, but that was not the funnest thing. It's amazing how much um, that really kicks my ass with that whole throwing me off schedule thing when I'm watching other people's dogs. Like Pat's dogs do it to me way worse than these guys do this. Thank goodness it's not as early as Pat's dogs are. But I think I was up at like, I don't know, it was like 3 something this morning. It was dumb. So went ahead. I think it was maybe 3 30, 4 30. I don't remember. It was way, way early. So went ahead, got up though, um, took care of the dogs, did everything that needed to be done with them, whatnot. Um, and waited around for Karen to get up. We were going to go do some Black Friday shopping. Uh, weren't really in a giant, uh, big mission to go find some crazy, stupid deals. We weren't out at midnight, and we sure as hell were not going out yesterday. There was no way I was going to spend a dollar on Thanksgiving um, to support anybody who was forcing their employees to not be with their family on Thanksgiving. So now my thing is that they're a shop and they want to do a volunteer. Hey, if you want to work, you're welcome to work, but there should never be a forced um, forced work on Thanksgiving. But that's neither here nor there really at the moment. So also you can see the back. I got a bunch, ton of stuff in the back of my truck. is all the trash that I don't know if trash is being picked up because Thanksgiving. So it's up there so we don't make the street look tacky for all the other people in the area who are having Thanksgiving and whatnot. So went ahead, um, dig, felt Karen got up and um, jumped in the shower and hang else. We headed out to go do some Friday shopping. We did leave the dogs here because the fact that it was that weird thing where we were leaving early and we thought we were going to try and drop the pups off with the owners um, for a couple hours while we went and did some shopping up like up by where they're staying at just so they could have um, some fun time playing with their dogs and stuff and whatnot because they're not um, leaving their dogs here by their choice. It's because the house are stance and um, dog friendly house. So we um, didn't do that because I was leaving early enough and we never got an exact date or in time to make sure that when they wanted to actually have their dogs for a little while. So went ahead and said to heck with it. Um, um, did not end up um, taking the dog, which wasn't a big deal. Um, left him here. The three of them had a great time. You could, they came home. There was stuff knocked around, stuff knocked off shelves. So they were playing and wrestling and stuff and this and that. So it's all good. Uh, also, um, did hit a few places up. Um, did not make it to Home Depot, um, which was one of the places we wanted to go. Lowe's also didn't go there. A lot of things we just we didn't have the time to spend uh, with the dogs here. I didn't want to be gone for hours. So went ahead, um, did get a handful of stuff, though. We bought a ton of clothes. Oh, my God, I got so much clothes. There was a deal at, um, I'm not sure where it was at. I think it's Belk, maybe Marshall's. I don't know, one of those places and stuff. And they had half off um, all the clearance pricing. So if you have something that's already 50% off, take another 20, 50% off that, makes it 75% off. And um, I think I had like $20, $25 for this stuff, maybe at most. And Karen had about the same. We found out about that discount, which we did not see, ironically, looking through the paper and that. But somebody else asked us about it. Then we went and asked staff, and they told us about it. We both ended up, um, actually, I ended up spending way more than she did, but I ended up spending well over 100 bucks myself. She was short of that to get the extra 25 off 100. Um, so went ahead and did that kind of thing. Um, I added some more stuff onto hers, so it worked out. Like I added a um, $13 shirt that actually saved her $5 by buying because with the um, extra discount and whatnot, put it up over 100 bucks. Um, yeah, you gotta love it. So actually, it was like a 30 some or a um, 40 some dollar shirt. Where the hell is it? Can't be 13 bucks after discounts. So 75% off that, whatever. But super, super excited about that. Um, ton of stuff. We got some awesome things. I got a um, her some running gear. I got her a kayaking shirt, which would be good. I got a couple kayaking shirts myself and um, just a pair of sandals, which I'm not a big fan of sandals, but um, I wanted to try it. And these were like, I don't know, 12 bucks and they're nice looking sandals. So went ahead and bought those. Oh, ton of cool stuff we got a um, couple of griddles like the flat top for making pancakes and stuff bought one at bed bath and beyond found one 10 bucks cheaper on a um, pizza stone um well, a pizza a pizza stone at bed bath and beyond found one ten dollars cheaper um like a couple stores later turned back bed bath and beyond worked out flawless they were there was no questions no no problems nothing there so when it had there had great experience everywhere except we did have one place that we were in the shop for about eight minutes and been asked 13 times if we needed help find anything and Karen was just like, okay, you guys, that's that's enough. We need to, you know, calm down a little bit here. So it's one of those things, super helpful. And then ironically, a little bit later, we went and we actually ended up asking two separate people where there was an item we were looking for as we couldn't find it because we'd only made it, like, I don't know, 25 feet in the store and we asked 13 times if we needed any help. And we couldn't find the item. And both the people said, I think it's over by there. It just pointed and didn't even, like, take us there. Didn't, we weren't sure where it was at. It's kind of funny. So of all the 13 people who tried to help us, um, we didn't know we were, couldn't find an item yet. The two people we asked did not. Not know where the hell it was so it, was, it made us laugh we basically cracked up on that one that was pretty good so went ahead um basically chilled out had a great time 
went by the Cycle Works, which is a uh, motorcycle um, accessory type place and stuff. Um, bought myself a $50 gas can, which is just horrendous to buy a five gallon gas can for 50 bucks. But it's much better than anything else I can get like, at Walmart and that. So got that knocked out. I'm super excited about it. It was on sale like 10 bucks off, so that was good. Um, and for other things, we just spent a bunch of money. So Karen um, bought some really good running gear. She got some really cheap prices. Got her an awesome little running hoodie, some other really cool stuff that I'm super, super stoked on that can be used for kayak and also bright, bright orange. Really, really cool deal. Kind of a salmon-y orange, beautiful little jacket. So, but yeah, had a great time. Got back home here, um, took the dogs to the dog park, chilled out there for quite a while. There was an idiot there who was kind of causing a little bit. It was a thing. But had both sides of the park open. Dog wasn't on leash. He's like, kind of leave the dog like, in the entryway. And like, since bring your dogs in, I'm like, no, no, you got the fucking dog out of the way because now our dogs are like, we need that entryway to get stationed. We bring our dogs and we unhook them. We then turn them loose in the, in the park and stuff. And he doesn't have a side picked. And he finally went to the big dog side. So that's why I said I was going. And then his dog was shitty and just trying to like, it was nuts because the guy was freaking out. The guy was terrified of our dogs and whatnot. And I don't know why because he was. And then he finally just left. And then we went and shut. He left both sides. He left the other side opening it too so I had to go shut it again after he left he was on the phone talking to me the whole time so he wasn't even communicating with us um I went ahead and then shortly after I we were there another lady showed up with her dog um was asking what was going on with that dog and I'm like I, I think it was the guy the dog seemed to be decent the guy was the problem and he was right there. he could hear us he was on a park bench over there and I was not gonna hold back because I'm like you need to learn and you weren't willing to get off your phone to ask hey can you help teach me how to work dog park world and it was crazy. So I went ahead, and then he came back over, and that lady freaked out. Like, let me get my dog out here. And you guys, like, just because she thought he was coming in our side, his dog's bigger than small dog side. And then up their dogs got along after a bit. Took a little while. Her, his dog was a little bit shitty, and they finally calmed down. And then Karen talked to him some, and he said how he was scared of our dogs and blah, blah. But instead of, like, holding his hand going, excuse me, sir, can you hold on a second? I'm nervous about your dog, and yada, yada, how can we make this better? He just freaked out and caused problems. So it is what it is, and he's an older man. It wasn't like he was a, you know, 19-year-old kid didn't know what he's doing. This was an older gentleman that should have played dog park before. So... Anyway, it all worked out. Um, the dogs had a great time. Oh my God, they're chasing sticks and just having fun and beating each other up. And at one point, um, Annie ran into the bench like hard. She was running along and just misjudged it and slammed right into the um, plastic bench we were sitting on. And it like moved the bench. It was pretty funny. So she like just kept on running, didn't give a damn. So, but no, they're over there having a great time in that. She's actually right now whining the window. I don't know if you see her or not, but that's her right there whining the window, aren't you? Aren't you said puppy? But yeah, she's in there just having a good time. Um, we got back, chilled out, had some leftover um, rice that I ended up making into um, bacon and egg um, omelets. Like I actually bacon and egg, bacon and egg scrambled, and then I put it in uh, wraps. So I ended up making like bacon and egg um, scrab, scrambled with rice in a wrap. It was amazing. So turned out surprisingly very, very good. I was super happy with how well it turned out. So um, yeah, other than that, just chilled out and trying to relax, trying to hang ready for Sunday, which we have a bunch of people coming over tomorrow, and that ought to be fun. So anyway, talk to you guys tomorrow. Have yourself a safe and wonderful day. Thanks for watching.